So I had broken my tribute because I wanted to prove to myself that I didn't have to smoke weed just to get people's love. Mm -hmm. So basically, <clears throat> Caleb had given me a couple of hits when we were young because in Abnegation, we were kind of like the leaders of our society because we kept the peace. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, like they relied on us, even the factionless. Like there was even one time where I caught my dad smoking it. He's such a hypocrite. Like my mom smoked it too, but they only did it when we were sleeping. So Caleb, you know, this was actually kind of dauntless of him. He grabbed my dad's old blunt and started smoking for himself and he fucking loved it because the next day all of our food was gone. My mom was like, what happened to all the food? And then I was like, Caleb ate it. And she was all like, Caleb, why didn't you tell me that you were this hungry? We would have, you know, gotten more food for you. And he was all like, oh, mom, I was just hungry. I couldn't help it. I just love you so much. Your food is so good. And I was like, oh my God. But it didn't happen until 10 years later when I found out that he was high. 10 years? Yeah. Ooh, wait, how old are you again? I'm 30. So this happened when we were 14. So he was 14, I was 12. So this was the first time like he smoked and he gave me a little bit. And he said, if you promise to not tell dad, I will take you to Erudite for their theater shows when it comes to smart people. Theater shows? Ariadite had theater shows? Yeah, they did. They love acting. <laughs> That's why they think they're the smartest. Because they pretend to be the smartest. You see, this is what Hollywood doesn't show you. I'm telling you the truth, okay? I actually fucking lived in that world, in that universe, okay? Ariadite had theater shows. They loved knowledge. It was a way to relax because to them, their philosophy was, if we could just pretend to be somebody else for two hours, that is letting us know that we are smart because we are using other parts of our hemispheres in our skulls. Do you comply? That's literally what their philosophy was. Even I saw that as a kid. Wow, Tress. That is like some deep stuff. It gets better. Well, wait, so I don't mean to interrupt, but that's okay. How does this relate to the disappearance of four? It has to do everything with the disappearance of four. Everything is connected, Mad Brooklyn guy. Everything is connected. Everything has a reason. Everything has a purpose. Okay? Jeez, you didn't have to say it like that. I was just wondering. Uh, here, come here. Give me a hug. Oh, it's okay. I was just joking, you know. I mean, because I'm Mad Brooklyn guy. You know, I make jokes and shit like that. But anyway, continue. So, when I had smoked this blunt when I was 12 years old, I felt this atmospheric fire in my lungs, but it felt good. I felt like it gave me the ability to speak more. Now, my mother was always like this. She always spoke her mind, even when my dad was out of line, because in our home, it was either his way or no way. We would be living out in the streets, factionless. That's what he told us. My dad was kind of a dick sometimes, but he had a foundation. He told us growing up that if we just respected the people in power, they would give us our power. That's what abnegation means. Abnegation is actually translated to fulfilled power. And I was born into it. But at the same time, the Ariadites, they thought that they were smarter than us. They thought that they were supposed to be the greatest faction. But abnegation, we had all the power. We told people what to do. We set up camps for people. We provided for the factionless. And now that I know that Fulfillment means power in my mind. It is because my dad got that foundation from smoking weed. So what does that tell you about weed? What does that tell you about my father? What does that tell you about me? And this is how this relates to four. The night that Christina and Peter had invited me out to the balcony to smoke with them, I felt that feeling again, that fire in my lungs, like I could speak up more. And then Peter told me this. What? What did he say? Beautiful thought. Hawkins let produce. Produce that. I'll bring each other.